And what we found was that, I mean, about one out of four houses of the refugee operation were having a double burden of malnutrition. There are a lot of factors playing in this environment. One of them, for example, is physical activity. I mean, this is a population that is constrained within a desert environment. That is, is normally during the day, we're talking about, for example, in the summer, 56 degrees. So 56 degrees Celsius is very difficult to be outdoors doing anything remotely contained indoors without the capacity to do much. And at night, for example, during the winter time, we're talking about temperatures below zero. So it's a very harsh environment. At the same time, they receive a lot of um, desert storms. So it makes it a, a very non-conductive environment for children, for example, to go out to play, for women to be, I mean, kind of moving around in the streets, etc. So physical activity is very much reduced in this setting. At the same time, as mentioned before, I mean, they have a very high starchy diet that might be contributing to some of these things. One of the things that we know is that this population does suffer from a lot of food insecurity. For example, the rates of acute malnutrition are high. They are normally bordering around 10% for the last, again, 17 years. And there is a lot of stunting. So the stunting has been ranging from about 40% of all children under the age of five up to now about 25%. So, I mean, there is, 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 um, it's a setting where there is a lot of undernutrition early in life, and yet there is also a lot of factors that encourage obesity. So I think it's the combination of these two that are creating a synergy by which undernutrition is not disappearing, but then obesity is just kind of becoming more and more manifest, especially among the women. So we're starting to witness this double burden of obesity and undernutrition. We know now that there is double burden of undernutrition reported among children in a school age. So that is in a way to a, a greater level. Here what we are observing in this particular operation is undernutrition in early, in early life, that is children under the age of five, and overweight and obesity among the adults. So both of them, I mean, cohabitating under the same household. In the Palestine, what you're seeing is that this is already present at a very early age, i.e. adolescence or school age. So in a way, I mean, what we are seeing here are different, kind of different levels of the double burden of undernutrition and overweight. I feel like at the time, it's very difficult for a lot of the people who are working in this field, mm -hmm. whether it is the refugee uh, themselves, whether it is the humanitarian agencies, whether they, they are the donors, to see that a lot of those things kind of are operating within the same environment. I, potentially the same factors that are causing undernutrition are likely to be causing also overweight and obesity and potentially driving forward an NCD epidemic that at the moment we are not yet documenting.